Hey, so, you're not willing to go vegan. I've heard it before. But you do claim to care. A little bit contradictory, but you can still help. It's never all or nothing. No one's 100% of everything. Just because you can't be 100% of something doesn't mean you shouldn't be 80%, 90%, or do your best. You might not be willing to even go vegetarian, let alone vegan. But you can eat fewer animals. You seek better sources, not go to factory farms. Yeah, most animals are raised in factory farms, especially birds. So, again, you can eat fewer animals and find better sources. You can eat more meat, but eat fewer animals. As odd as that sounds. Most people eat 37 land animals per year. 37 land animals, not counting fish. 35 of them are birds. Nearly all are factory farmed. Factory farm. Look up a factory farm video. Meatvideo.com by Mercy for Animals. Or meat.org. So, you could eat a bird in about two meals. That's why some people try to be wise asses when I'm holding this in Times Square, New York City. Saying, oh, I want a juicy steak. I'll say, if you're not willing to go vegan, have the steak. Give up the birds. I don't even have a cow on my sign, but that's what they go to. Their defense mechanism hits right to that. So, my point is, you can eat more meat, cause less suffering by eating fewer animals or eating fewer birds. Cut out, just cut out the birds. You'll go from 37 land animals a year to 35. Most people don't eat one pig or one cow in a year, even if they eat burgers every day, steak and such. And I actually think it's healthier because um, they're all factory farm manipulated birds. Cows are, are more free range. So, you're eating less animals and probably causing a lot less suffering in how they're treated. Not that the cows are treated well. But it's called harm reduction theory. Um, so you can still help. If you're not willing to simply leave animals alone and go vegan, you can help by consuming less, maybe trying some of the vegan versions. Um, it's never all or nothing, is my point. I support hunting over factory farming. If I have no hunters in Houston when I grew, lived in Texas who won't buy meat from a store because they find it inhumane. And I can't disagree with them, as long as they're not trophy hunters. If they're hunting for meat, it's better than buying it from a factory farm. So, you can eat more meat and harm less animals, depending on what animal you eat, and the size of the animal, and how they're generally raised, or factory farmed or not. You can find, look for humane sources, free range, although there's no laws, so don't trust them one bit. They're a business looking to make money. Many of them have been caught lying. Purdue they did an undercover investigation. Someone got a job there and record it, even though they're very um, protective about that type of thing and auditing employ potential employees that might be trying to undercover and whistle below. So don't trust the free range. Know your source personally. See it with your own eyes. Ask to visit the farm. Even a farmer's market, you don't know the source. See it for yourself. So better sources that show semi-respect for animals, some decency, so they don't suffer from birth to death in factory farms like nearly all birds come from, and eggs, and cow breastfeeding milk. So consume less animal products consume less animals, more importantly. So this booklet does have that one mistake by Vegan Outreach about cutting back on meat consumption. More importantly, cut back on how many animals consumed. And consider it a source. Look up your factory farm video. Never stay never. Gradually make changes. You never know what happened in the future. Health, environment. Maybe you'll make a connection. You'll see your dog and a pig and realize they suffer the same. So never say never. Make gradual changes. Every step helps. Try cutting back. Try cutting out, just cutting out the birds first, then the eggs, then the fish. A few months later, maybe try cutting back on other things. Thanks and please share. Try the vegan versions. Vegan is the future. Thank you.